Hi, welcome to Dit Dot. My name's Amanda. Tonight I am going to get us started on making salmon patties. It is one of the dishes that my kids love to eat and it's actually one that my mom makes for them way more than I make. But I have made it on occasion. We're going to start with canned salmon and I'm just going to drain off the liquid. You can also use leftover salmon. I've done that before where I've made just too much salmon the night before. And depending on what flavors, like a lot of times I like to make an Asian salmon. So I'll just kind of tweak the ingredients to make it kind of work with whatever seasoning. All right, so if you've never used canned salmon before, don't be alarmed. You will see it's kind of, kind of slimy and the skin is still in it usually and then oftentimes you will find bones too and the bones are completely edible they are softened up in the can the skin will provide the omega-3 fats and the bones will provide a lot of good calcium so we're just going to use a fork to kind of start to mash up the salmon break it up from the can I prefer usually using leftover salmon because the the way it looks from a can is not very appetizing, but it's all good. This one actually doesn't have that many bones. I see a couple in it, but not very many. Okay, then we're going to use some breadcrumbs. You can use fresh. These are panko, and I'm using about a cup of breadcrumbs, and then I also have some cracker crumbs that I might use too, depending on if like because I don't cook with recipes, so I'm just kind of winging it and seeing if I need to add more moisture or more dry breadcrumbs till we get the texture we need. Just added some salt and now I'm adding some dried dill. We've got fresh dill, go ahead and use it. Oh, I love the smell of dill. And a little bit of pepper, a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. I like to use, have this lemon juice not from concentrate on hand. You can see I go through big jars of it. And then you're gonna want about half a cup or so of an onion. So you can use, I'm gonna use, dice up some green onion here, but you can use red onion or sweet yellow onion too, whatever your favorite mild kind of onion is. Shallot would work also. And I use the whole thing, the greens and the white part. I do not understand recipes that, are, that say, just use the whites. Like, that's wasting a whole lot of onion to me. So with this dish, my favorite side dishes, and again, I think it's because it's one my mom usually pairs with it, is macaroni and cheese and green beans. I'm also gonna make some homemade tartar sauce and cocktail sauce. I already have some videos done on those from early on in my channel, so uh, be interesting to rewatch those, but I will link them down below. All right, so right now this is kind of dry and crumbly. We're gonna add two eggs and see where we're at. And it should start to come together. If it feels too wet, then that's when you will add some more of your breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs. If it feels too dry, you can add some more lemon juice or like a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Let's see, I'm gonna feel it. This is still feeling very wet now. So I am gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna add up some of these cracker crumbs. And what I like to do is like at the base of my cracker jar, I will like kind of scoop up the crumbs that tend to fall to the bottom. I'm gonna use my jar to crush these. Okay, yeah, those are nice and crushed. <sighs> so this is the weekend before Thanksgiving when I'm filming this. I have no idea when it's gonna get up. My video schedule is kind of like all over the place right now. <laughs> but I just went to the grocery store this morning for the big Thanksgiving haul. And oh my gosh, even though it's Saturday, it was chaos. Okay, so either way, whether you're using leftover salmon or if you're using canned salmon, your salmon is cooked. So there is some raw egg in here. I'm not too squeamish about raw egg. 
that's my Instapot talking to me because I'm making um, my mac and cheese in Instapot. So if you have not made Instapot mac and cheese, make sure that you check out that video because it's my favorite way to make, make mac and cheese. Anyway, um, like I was saying, everything in here is cooked except for the raw egg, but I'm not too squeamish about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Yeah, it needs more salt. If you are squeamish about the raw egg, just kind of guess on your seasonings and you'll be fine. Okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. That's how I cook. You taste, you feel, you do it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make up some patties. Okay. I've got a scoop here and that's just going to help me portion them out. And you want to kind of flatten them out into little patties and they should have enough wet and dry ingredients together that they will stick. So I'm just gonna make up these and then I'll meet you over at the stove. Hey Watson, do you want a cookie Watson? Watson, you want a bone? You want a bone? Sit. Good boy, take. All right, take it to your bed. <laughs> you gonna take it, take it to your bed. Good boy, he's taking it to the living room bed. All right, first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we get our skillet piping hot. I've showed you the water trick before. Oh, where's my dropper? Oh. Here's little Echo, she just came, or he just came in. Do you say hi? Now I gotta go wash my hands. Oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. In my last video, or actually, I guess it was two videos ago, by the time this video goes up, <laughs> was his debut, uh, his debut YouTube channel. Oh, I am scattered today. Okay, so the water trick is to get a really hot skillet. Yes, it is super hot. So here, let me, so you see how, if you do water like that and it just beads up, that means your skillet is piping hot. Okay, I don't wanna mix oil and water. <sighs> okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay. And see how my oil is just dancing around too because my skillet is already so hot. So we wanna go ahead and get our salmon patties in here quickly. I've got it on medium right now because I got it almost too hot. And we want that nice sizzle. If I hadn't already preheated my skillet, I would not want to put the salmon patties in right away. Oh. And kind of keep playing with your heat. Kind of trying to drop them in away from me. You can also use a spatula. That one's wanting to fall apart on me. I only made up half of them and I figured I'd make up more while these are cooking. So they don't take very long to cook. We just want to get them brown on both sides. Ooh, that one splattered up on me. And I can fit one more. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. I rarely follow my own advice. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna lower the heat because it's so hot. And you can already, I mean, see it bubbling around the edges there. And while these are cooking, I will make up a couple of more. And I made some, I made tartar sauce and the cocktail sauce so that we have two different dipping sauces to go with dinner tonight. So I didn't scroll back to watch the beginning. Um, I know I just jumped into this video. I hope I gave myself a really good introduction. I'm like, wait, did I even say my name? If not, my name's Amanda <laughs> and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> I've been on YouTube now for almost 10 months now, I think. And I'm super, super excited to have met different people comments and different other YouTubers. It's just been such a super fun journey. Before uploading videos and becoming a YouTuber, I never knew how much work and love goes into all these YouTube videos that y'all are watching. Okay, so, ha ha, look at that gorgeous, gorgeousness. Now I can already, I'm listening to my skillet and I hear it, it's not sizzling as hard. So I went ahead, the cold salmon lowered the temperature of my skillet. So I am raising up the temperature again. But this is what you wanna see. The oil that I used today is avocado oil, cause that's just what I had in my pantry. 
can use peanut oil. I don't usually cook with canola oil, but if you like to cook with canola oil, that would be fine. And one of these fall apart on me. So we don't want to flip flop them too much because that's going to encourage them to fall apart. So just try to flip them one side each time if you can. So here they are. They look amazing. I'm going to pull one off and give it a taste. So this is the homemade tartar sauce that I made. And then this is the cocktail sauce, but I do have videos for these um, if you would like to check that out. All right, it's piping hot. Oh, right after they came off the stove, I just sprinkled them a little bit with a little bit more extra salt. A lot of times when you have fried food, topping them with a little extra salt at the end is just a little, adds a little more flavor. Mmm. This cocktail sauce is amazing. Okay, and my salmon patty. <laughs> but <laughs> I love a good cocktail sauce with the right amount of heat in it. Mm. Yes, and the salmon patty, is, you can tell the, the fish, but it's not like overly fishy. It just is, it's just good. What can I say? Mm. These would like be so expensive at a restaurant and a can of salmon is really cheap and so doing this yourself you can get like you know a really expensive restaurant meal for like super cheap super fast and make it healthy by using the oils and ingredients that you want to use i want to thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you enjoy watching videos about how to get healthy homemade dinners on the table fast, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can watch more of my videos. And until the next time, bye.